having issues connecting to Surfshark VPN on your Mac computer? No fear, as we are here to help you fix all those issues. Before you follow any of these tips, make sure that you are using the latest version of the Surfshark app. You can download the latest version from either the Apple App Store or from the Surfshark website. The latter is recommended because you can use the direct download option. This way, you will get the DMG version of the app, which works a bit better compared to the Apple App Store version. Now, let's try some easy solutions to solve connection issues. If you are unable to connect, then the first and the easiest thing that you can try is changing your VPN protocol. To change it, click on this gear icon on the left side. Then, at the top, select VPN settings. And there's the protocol change option. There are a total of four protocols that you can try. I suggest giving each one a go and see if that fixes your connection issue. Different protocols can also help improve your speeds in case your connection is slower than expected. If that doesn't help, then make sure to try different locations on the app's main screen. Next to every location, you will see a small bubble. The less filled the bubble is, the less loaded a particular location is. So, make sure to try locations that have less server load. Additionally, try connecting to static and multi-hop locations, which can also help with your connection. Depending on your network, some Surfshark app features can interfere with your connection. Let's go back to the settings and then VPN settings. Once you are here, try disabling clean web and kill switch. Speaking of interfering, other applications that use your internet connection actively can also impact your VPN connection. This is especially true if you have any other VPN apps active or cloud storage apps like Dropbox and Google Drive. If you are still having issues with your VPN connection, then let's try changing your DNS addresses. To do that, first click on the Apple logo on the top right and select System Preferences. Next, we will want to go to Network. On the left side, select your active network adapter that you are connected to. In my case, it is Wi-Fi with the green dot next to it. After that, select Advanced on the bottom right. In this new window, go to the third tab called DNS. To add a new DNS address, click on this plus icon. We will be adding two addresses, so let's add two entries. To edit them, double-click and enter the following addresses. These are the open DNS addresses, and with them configured, you will get a smoother browsing experience compared to the DNS services provided by an ISP. It also helps solve VPN connection issues, which is why we configure them here. Anyway, after configuring, press OK, and then click Apply to finalize the changes. Another, more advanced solution that you can try is disabling IPv6 on your network. IPv6 is currently not supported by Surfshark, and some ISPs force it upon networks, which can cause connection issues. Disabling IPv6 will not affect your network in any bad way, so do give it a try. We made a step-by-step -step dedicated tutorial, which you can check out right here. If after doing all the aforementioned suggestions, your connection is still unstable or you are unable to connect, do not worry. Jump to your Surfshark app and go to the settings and select Get Help. Here, you will see an option called the Reset VPN Profile. Click on it and then select Continue. This will reset the VPN configurations on your device, which should help with your connection. Finally, if you are still having issues, then the best thing to do is to submit your diagnostics to our support team. You can do that from the same Get Help page, click on the Still Having Issues button, and then select Report a Bug. In the description box, write a list of solutions that you have tried so far and click the Send button. Our customer success team will be able to assist you in less than 24 hours and suggest possible solutions. And that is all for this tutorial. Thank you guys so much for watching. If this video helped you fix your connection issues, give it a giant thumbs up and subscribe to our YouTube channel. By the way, here are two more videos that I think you will enjoy. That's all for me. Take care.